Talk to us about the opportunity that. Uh... One second. <laughs> It looks better like that. Like this? Yeah, I think so. I don't know, man. I like the backwards one myself. Maybe we'll exchange. Yes, yeah, we'll switch it halfway through. We'll switch during, during the interview. Hey, man, talk to us about this opportunity that you have, getting to come back here, mm -hmm. uh, back to the UFC, and, and uh, you're in a pretty high-profile fight right out of the gate. I'm really, I'm, I'm really happy about this fight. I'm really happy to return to the UFC because two of my first matches, I didn't evaluate enough the level of here. Uh, uh, of these uh, fighters, I didn't evaluate enough uh, what kind of work should I devote for for the UFC and to achieve some good achievement. Uh, I exchange everything in my mind. I exchange my manager. I exchange uh, work uh, during the training camp. So I believe I'm absolutely different man like I've been before. Um. Before before your last fight uh, earlier this year, you were out a, a couple of years, right? Is that during the time? No, you were? no. Uh, I fought this year, beginning of this uh, of this uh, year, in January. Right, but before that, though, it had been a. Been yeah, a it bit. was two years ago, two yeah. years and uh, a few months. But for this time, uh, I became absolutely absolutely different. Was th was the that layoff before the time when you were changing things up in your head, your management, things like that, or was it this year after your last fight? No, it was a uh, long time ago. I mean, about unlike how to say in a sport career, a long time ago, over one year. So I, I didn't rush to get I didn't rush to get back to the UFC because uh, I didn't want to lose I, I don't want to lose any any more matches here. Uh, uh, I had agreement with the Rizwan, yeah, Ali Abdelaziz. So when they call me, when when I when I'll say that I'm ready, they will do everything to return me back. So uh, I spent a lot of time on the training camps. I um, won one more one more match to for to return here. I, um, after that, we decide together. So this is the time to come back and this. Great opportunity. I know that the uh, UFC is more interesting than uh, Greg Hardy for now because he has a good background for the story. He is from NFL, uh, he a great uh, athlete, uh, uh, exchange sport, you know, from the uh, media sport, from the money sport. Uh, he, he came to the UFC and trying to, uh, to find himself here. Uh, I know that uh, they, they need to win him, but this is mistake to choose me. What do you think about him, sort of him as, as an opponent and sort of the skill sets that he brings to the table? What have you, um, you know, what have you looked at from his fight? Uh, look, for, um, look, we already trained together, yes. We already trained together at American Top Team. I, I don't want to say that he is uh, uh, something bad about him. Uh, there is no question. Uh, I was meeting him every morning uh, in a restroom. <laughs> <laughs> this is beginning of the uh, of the day, you know. At at eleven we have a practice, so at, uh, we uh, see each other all the time. Hello, Greg. Hello, Greg. Hello, Dmitri. I never never think before that we're gonna fight. Uh, look, I don't I don't have a I don't have any choices. Yes, uh, he had a choice, and uh, he remember our last sparrings. We. We, be, we had sparring maybe three, four times, uh, and he remember our first sparring. I remember all. Uh, he has a strong punch, like I, I have the same, no worse. Uh, I have uh, for over 20, uh, 20 years uh, experience of comp uh, competing in combat sports, like regarding wrestling and everything. So uh, he participated uh, for the team sport. It's a little bit different. Maybe it's even more than a little bit different. Uh, I know what uh, what uh, I need to bring to the octagon on a Saturday. At Saturday, I don't want to tell you the exact exactly my plan game, but for sure I have. I do. I do not believe that he has a plan against me. Uh, just strong punch at the beginning. Okay. Let's. What? What if I survive? What? What if it doesn't? They're not gonna happen. What else? What? What? What's gonna? What? What he's gonna do forwards? What he's gonna show me? Okay. If he prepared his condition, no problem. I ready to fight 15 minutes. 
but yeah. they have something more. His conditioning, is that something you picked up from, from his last fight when uh, he finally had to go past the first round? And... Uh, it is, uh, um, yes, we, we were watching this fight and he died after, no, like, like I noticed, he died after one minute, 20 seconds. But uh, you, you should count, it was a different continent, it was Australia, yeah, so he was under acclimatization. Uh, un under influence, uh, I do not count that he is gonna die as soon as as it happened uh, at Australia. So I believe it for him uh, much more, uh, much more time uh, for the good endurance. I mean, you understand me, yeah? yeah. I'm saying right now. Yeah. I I'm sorry. I, I studied from the from, from, from the outside, from, from the people, you know. He just didn't fight in Australia. He was in New York, actually. What? He he didn't fight in Australia. It was Brooklyn that he fought. No, but when he kicked by the yeah, knee, yeah. is it is, is it was in Australia? It was Brooklyn. Yeah. No, he he fought where the uh, Santos fought at the same at uh, the same. No. Term. No. Oh, okay. So <laughs> I thought it was Australia. No problem. If he's dying <laughs> in America like this, made, yeah. -la -la. no problem. But I think I get what you're saying, though. I mean. It, you feel like he might be able to go longer than a minute and 20 seconds, a minute and 30 for seconds. For sure. But eventually yeah. he's going he's to I down. spend all to have the same temp, to have the same timing uh, from the beginning until the end. I do believe if we begin very quick, I can keep this dis distance until the end, very quick too. If uh, we start not so quick, I am ready for this too. I'm ready for the game, you know, I'm so excited. I do not stay at this hotel, especially. Don't exchange my mind, everything. I didn't get nervous uh, until now, and even one second. So, I'm waiting for the Saturday. Were you surprised that you're fighting in a co-main event with him? Surprised, for, for sure, surprised. I know that it's not easy to get uh, a match for the co-main event. You, you must uh, deserve it, for sure. Uh, but, uh, I, as I say, uh, Greg Hardy is very interesting for the UFC. That's why we are here. So I didn't, I didn't want to lose this opportunity. To uh, when, the, when they told me, when, when the, my, my manager said, "Look, you have to pick up this fight," I said, "No question, no question. Don't, don't even uh, hesitate. No doubts. Let's go. Let's do it." So, uh, of course, you you can spend whole career and don't get uh, maybe even to. To, to get opportunity to get to the main card. You know. Here's Comain event for sure, it's very interesting. And you know, uh, my corner, he was flying over the New York and he said, in New York, while I've been at the airport, I saw every five minutes this commercial on the TV, all the time, your face, face, and also, why I should miss it. <laughs> how, how, how great it is, how, what's the feeling seeing your face on a poster with Jacare, you know, and, and it's you know, uh, it's it's history time. It's like many many guys writing for me and saying, you know, this is the your history. So write your history right now. What that's, that's why I came here. Earlier, you said you're a different fighter. How different are you? What happened? With you? I'm from wrestling background. He's from the game, sports uh, sports where is the. Um, team, uh, team guys can support you. Yes, you you are responsible for yourself. For I was responsible for over 20 years. 20 years for for myself. Uh, here, for example, if you do feel just uh, not so good enough, or maybe very good enough, maybe completely died. So your your teammates can exchange you or to support you or to help you. So it's it's absolutely different. This experience you must receive. From the years of the competing, from the years of the competing. I, I meant that you said that you were a different fighter. Ah, so like like, uh, like like I've been before. Yeah. I exchanged my mind. You know, uh, when when I came here first time, I, I didn't know um, for what do, uh, do I come here, for what uh, what uh, what I sh what what I gonna do here. You know, just the dream happened. I signed up with the UFC. No, I thought, oh, okay, so. UFC, UFC, mm, shake my hands for myself, good. But now, when, when I lost, when I um, st stepped over uh, aircraft at Sheremetyevo, Moscow, yes, and 100 people came to me 
and asked me, hey, what happened? Why so? Why the fight was so bad? You know, and uh, at that moment I understood. Oh la la! So many people was watching for me, and uh, I don't want to repeat this anymore. Uh, and I exchanged my mind. You know, if you exchange your mind, then everything around this will be slowly, I mean, little by little, exchanging to the right side. What areas of your game did you improve? Uh, I improved everything. Absolutely everything. Absolutely everything. Absolutely different. I, uh, I didn't show. Uh, what what should I say about improve? If I didn't show nothing, if I show at least something, well, already improved. You know. Mm. Are you still an American top team? Are you still seeing him every day? I uh, preparing the last two weeks at American top team. Uh, Davis space and uh, Baga space here near hotel. Uh, I'm very, um, very close to keeping in touch with uh, Conan Silvero, head coach. We really friendly. I saw him last time uh, in Praga, Czech Republic before in Moscow. I was meeting him there. So uh, possibly I look like I represent American top team. I just didn't want to have the same camp at the same place. Yes. That's why I uh, prepared in Russia, but in Russia, you know, here uh, there are so good fighters. So there, there are so good opportunity to to prepare around really strong guys. And in Poland too, between Russia and Poland.